Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a lovely day. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to create a very spring colored card. We're using um, a layered stencil. These, these three here are actually from Spellbinders. They're from the Layered Stencil Collection. Now what's neat is this is a four piece layering stencil that creates that beautiful hello and it also creates the surrounding flowers and you can do all of that with just four stencils. Um, there is a coordinating die that will cut out the hello and then there's also the dies that will cut out a few of the flowers in here. Okay, we're not going to use the flower dies but I do want to use the hello die but not for what it's intended. <laughs> um, there's also a stencil. This is not a layering stencil, but I think this is so cool. It's part of this, this collection, but this is the Puff Dottie stencil. Now, I love the Puff Dottie 3D embossing folder. Now this stencil is meant to go with it. So your dots on the stencil will line up beautifully on the Puff Dottie 3D embossing folder. And I think that is so neat. You think you're going to love the outcome. So we're going to put all these together and create a card. It's going to be a little bit of a busy card, so we don't have to do too much to it. <laughs> um, but I think it def definitely says spring. We are going to start by embossing. I'm going to start by trimming a standard sheet of cardstock. We're just going to cut this in half. And if you want to go into card front panels, you can. But we're going to be doing ink blending, and I'm not sure what section I want with the color. So it's always have more than less. And I'll just put this in here. And I'll bring in my die cutting machine. I already have my sandwich for the 3D embossing folders. We're going to run this through. Put this off to the side. You guys have seen me use this embossing folder before, but you see how dimensional these dots are? Now the fun part is taking the stencil. Now I'm embossing before I'm stenciling. You can do the opposite way. You can stencil first a panel. You can go over here, stencil it first, and then line it up and emboss it. So I think either or, I haven't tried it the other way, but I'm pretty sure you can. To me this just seems easier because these um, dots will fit perfectly inside of the stencil and it's not going to shift either, which makes it really nice because <laughs> I have a tendency of shifting my stencils. Now I'm going to use some spring colored inks and we're going to start with a blue. I'm going to use Broken China. I don't even think I need a blending mat. I'm going to use my blending brushes for this. And I'm going to go over the bottom. One layer with Broken China. My next color, I'm going to bring in Squeeze Lemonade. And we're going to overlap these two. And you know what? I'm going to switch out the color. Instead of using the yellow, I'm going to bring in Modlon. I think I better go in a color order. So, we'll add Modlon right over the top. <laughs> and then I'll go in with my Squeeze Lemonade. After we have carved pumpkin, we're going to use picked raspberry. Nice springy colors. Let's put our inks off to the side. And then we get to lift off our stencil, no adhesive. And all of those dots are, are raised. And I just think that looks super neat. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and trim this down to a card front panel like I mentioned. And our card front panel is all done. 
Now, I'm going to take one of my rectangle dies and I want to create a window frame with this. So I'm going to line this up, we'll tack this down, and then I'm going to run this through my die cut machine. So it did flatten some of my dots, just a little bit though, but I'm not worried about that because there's going to be a lot of, go a lot of going on here. <laughs> okay, we're going to put away the stencil, and now we're going to do a little bit of stenciling with our Layered Floral Hello stencil set. Now I have the Hello, but there's lots more of the layered stencil in the collection, and I like that they even include the negative piece. Actually, that would be the positive piece, huh? Okay. Now, I am going to, since there's four of these, and they're layerable, what I'm going to do immediately is take a Sharpie, and I'm going to number them. And my Sharpie looks like it's not very sharp, <laughs> because my letters are very bold. I'm using Spellbinder Spell and Pack. Rather than start with stencil one, I'm going to start with stencil four. And we are going to line this up corner to corner. Now, there are notches on here, but I'm, I don't think this these notches are for an A2 panel. Because, let me get a piece of cardstock. This is my, my A2 card base. And if you were to line this up corner with those notches, it doesn't line up on this side. You see the notches are over here. So I'm not sure what size this is, but when I do layering stencil for me, personally, it's just easier to line it up corner to corner. And usually I just trim down the same piece of cardstock. But I'm just gonna line it up from the bottom left corner because we're gonna end up fussy cutting our image out anyway. So bottom left corner, once I'm happy, I'm going to take my stencil for, I guess this should have been one, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm a little backwards today. I'm going to use my Distress Oxide inks, the same color we used for our um, Puff Dotty panel. And I want to use my blending brushes, pick up some squeezed lemonade, and we're going to go over this panel with our yellow. Now I have my yellow over my stencil number four. It doesn't look like it's on there very much, but it, you can really see it. Let me see. Let me line it back up here. And if you wanted to put pixie spray behind here, you could. Okay, so I have my squeeze lemonade. Now while my stencil is still down here, we could actually tape this, make it a little easier but you don't have to. I'll just tape it to my craft mat. Now I'm gonna bring in my next color, which is Mowed Lawn. Now with Mowed Lawn, I'm just gonna go over the leaves that are on this stencil. If you want to use a smaller blending tool or a finger dauber for this you could. So now I have mowed lawn over my greenery. I'm gonna go ahead and lift my stencil here. And it's showing up pretty good on that vellum and that's what I like. Now I'm gonna take stencil three and since we we lined it up in that corner I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'll tack this down. Now with this color we're going to we're going to bring in carved pumpkin next because carved pumpkin goes really well with yellow. And I'm going to just go over my hello and the flowers trying to skip over those leaves that we just colored in. You can see them peeking out over here. We'll bring that back, and this time I'm going to go really heavy over those so they stand out. And I think I got all the leaves. 
So layer two is all done. We'll remove this. Actually, it's layer three. I don't want to confuse you guys, but this is the second panel we put on there. Now I'm going to bring my third layer in. So ignore those numbers on the top. <laughs> I'll end up redoing them. Actually, we could do redo it right now. Just so I don't confuse you guys. It's easy. Just use, this is one of those alcohol prep pads. I use these for my markers. That will take off your your permanent um, your permanent marker and then we could redo this for and I'll redo the other ones too that way I'm not confusing you layer three <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and bring in layer three we're gonna use pink so I'm bringing in picked raspberry And I'm going to go over all of the images on here. Our layer three that we corrected is all done. I'm just going to remove the tape here. Well, it's coming together beautifully. You can see that. And then we're going to bring in our final layer. Tack that down. We're just using the same tape for all of this. I'm going to bring in, or bring back, instead of broken china, I'm going to use tumbled glass. It's a, it's a lighter blue, and I think it'll work better for the vellum. So I'm going to go over these. And that is with tumbled glass. Now we get to do the reveal. And I just think that is so, so pretty. I loved how soft that looks. Now let me show you this under our card base. It just looks stunning. Isn't that so pretty? So my vellum has been die cut out and it just looks gorgeous. Okay, now what we're gonna do is take the dies. Um, this die here will cut out the hello. You can see it lines up beautifully with this. We're gonna do something different with this die. And then you have three extra dies. I wanted to share that this one here will cut out this flower here. This one here will cut out this flower here. The three petal flower looks kind of like a tulip. And then this one will cut out this flower here. Okay, we're gonna what we're gonna do is put this off to the side. I'm gonna bring back my die cutting machine. I'm gonna bring in some of my Spellbinders pop up foam sheets. And I'm gonna take these, they're nice because they're bright white. And I'm gonna die cut out two just using the, the die that we would cut the hello out. And if I may, my camera shakes, I'm so sorry. At the other house, I had it attached to my ceiling, so it didn't shake. This one's attached to my craft desk. So we got a little earthquake going on. <laughs> so we have two of our outlines cut out. Now I'm also gonna take a piece of white cardstock and die cut out my hello with this too. Okay, put this off to the side. I'm gonna take this outline and glue it to both of my fun foams. We're gonna use glue here. I put glue on one of my pop-up foams and making sure they're right side up. We're gonna layer two together because I want a little bit of dimension on here. I'm gonna add a little more glue And then we'll take the cardstock and lay, layer that on there. I'm going to flip this around 
and using my tape runner I'm using my dot liner now this if you have white um, a micro dot sheet you could use that but um, this adhesive won't show behind my hello and I'm gonna add some adhesive behind here and then I'll pick this up and I'm gonna layer this centering it on that white background you're gonna see it just pop you see how it just stands out now you can actually see the blue and it's gonna give me some dimension we're gonna remove the release paper off of our frame our puff dotty frame that we stenciled I need to trim this just a little bit I overlapped we're gonna layer this wonderful and then I already put adhesive behind here we're just gonna put this on the inside You know what this feels like? It almost feels like bubble wrap. So when you put your hands over it, you want to you push them down and pop them. So much fun. I just love this. Okay, next I'm going to take my vellum. And it looks like it's kind of wanting to curl up a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. Just a little bit. So I'm going to go in with some foam squares. And I'm going to hope, I'm going to hope <laughs> that... You won't be able to see the foam squares behind here. Okay, I put foam squares just in a few areas to help keep this flat. And then I'm going to use my glue, go over my pop-up foam. And then we can flip this around. And we're going to tack this right in the middle of our card. So we have a little bit of dimension here. I'm going to bring in my Color Essential Gems. This is Spectrum AB. It's got a real pretty pinkish iridescent hint to this. And we're going to add some sparkle to that vellum in the center of these flowers. Okay, and I think that's just the right amount. Um, hindsight, I think it'd be best to add the gems to the vellum while the vellum's flat because um, when I was adding the gems, since it's kind of floating, it kept wanting to push down. <laughs> but we were, we got it to work. That finishes off my card today. I hope you get a chance to check out the layered stencil collection over at Spellbinders. There, I think there's lots of sentiments. I think there's a, a hello, a... Lots of sentiment ones. I thank you so much for stopping by. Have a fabulous day. Um, and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.